Hey, what's up, guys? Welcome to the channel. I want to walk you through what I do to find a low voltage short. And I'm going to try to make this as simple as possible. That way, on your next unit that you find a, a burnt fuse, you know what to do. Number one thing, start at the outdoor condenser. Check all the low voltage wires. Check the reversing valve wires, the high pressure switch wires, and the low pressure switch wiring. Make sure that it's not rubbing against anything. Make sure that the insulation is not cracked or broken and it's not touching the copper. If you do find a damaged area, just go ahead and wrap it with the electrical tape. The next thing you want to look at is your thermostat. Pull the cover off and do a visual inspection of the wiring. Also make sure that the batteries are working. You want to pull them out and look at these little plates right here because this one was all corroded i thought this was my problem but it ended up being something else now i want to show you guys exactly how i found this low voltage short the rgybc on top are going to be the connections at the package unit and the bottom wires where that where i drew that little purple box that's going to be the wires going to the thermostat you want to start testing every single wire you want to jump or r to to all the wires and you want to hear them do their function if you go R to Y at the package unit the compressor should turn on then check R to G and the fan motor should come on do that for every letter of course not the common because then you'll pop the fuse <laughs> and if everything works then you know it's not your package unit wiring or your board or anything like that now that you know that your problem is not at the package unit you want to do the same thing, but you want to involve the thermostat wires. So here I went R to R to G to G. And you want to do that with every single letter. Now, you want to do this with the power on, with the brand new fuse. If while you're doing this, for example, if you, when we go to the Y here, if it pops, the fuse right there, boom, you know that's your problem. And you need to look into that wire, that color. And in my case, guys, it ended up being the Y. Once I went red to Y, to Y, then my fuse popped. And then I knew I had to replace that wire. So what I did, I took it out. I put some batteries on the thermostat. And I took out the common wire. And I used the common wire as my Y1 wire. If you happen to have an extra wire, then great. Replace the damaged, remove the damaged wire and then replace it with that extra wire. And then the issue will be solved. One piece of advice that I'm going to give you guys is to always listen to your customer. This lady told me that when she turned on the cooling mode, the unit never worked again. So then right from the beginning, I knew it was going to be a problem with the Y1. If you need any extra help with the low voltage short and you have a question, go ahead and hop on the comment section and I'll be glad to help you. Until next one, guys, thank you for watching.